Uh, hi, my name is Kirk Schultz. I'm a pediatric bone marrow transplant doctor in, located in Vancouver, um, Canada. Uh, I had the privilege to um, be the organizer uh, with a lot of assistance of the 7th International Chronic Graft versus Host Disease Symposium, which we held on October 16th and 17th in Vancouver. Um, it was a really exciting meeting because uh, we... Um, first of all, it was the first time it, this meeting had been held in North America, um, all times previously in Europe. Uh, we were able to engage uh, doctors and researchers and family members and, and patients that were uh, involved with chronic GVHD from not only Europe uh, primarily, but also we had a heavy uh, attendance from doctors in the United States and Canada and also uh, Eastern Asia and uh, even South America and Australia. Um, and that bringing together the world um, community was is really important since uh, anybody who's received a bone marrow transplant or hematopoietic stem cell transplantation has been impacted by chronic graft versus host disease as a long-term toxicity or disease uh, that uh, they can sometimes have as a lifelong um, disease associated with increased uh, morbidity or, or um, decreased life quality, as well as uh, even a higher mortality rate. Uh, some of the highlights of the meeting, it was actually a very exciting meeting. It was the largest meeting uh, that's been held so far um, with uh, experts coming from all over the world. Um, we uh, had a, a lot of engagement that's uh, an increasing thing which we need, which is to have doctors who are not the doctors doing the transplants and following patients for the transplant, but actually people that are involved with, have involvement with their chronic GVHD need specialists who are informed from other areas, such as um, ophthalmologists, eye specialists, um, uh, dermatologists, uh, and other subspecialists when they have, to, since this disease can affect any part of the body. And uh, the engagement and expertise that these uh, uh, other uh, doctors and researchers are bringing into the group is enhancing our ability to both treat and prevent disease. Um, the other thing that was a real highlight of the meeting was um, we began to talk about the novel clinical trial designs that we are going to need to take a relatively rare disease, but such a severe disease after transplantation um, to uh, evaluate new and novel therapies, both incorporating biomarkers as well as incorporating our existing drugs and developing new drugs and new approaches um, are going to require uh, quite um, innovative um, clinical trials designs. And, and I, we had a great session uh, sponsored along with the American Society of uh, Cell Therapy and Transplantation discussing around that. Um, also another innovative and novel area that's going to come into uh, treating is uh, cellular therapeutics. Uh, evolving um, integration of regulatory types of cells. And we had a wonderful session uh, with the uh, International Society of Cellular Therapeutics uh, that incorporated uh, uh, discussions around those uh, treatments of the future. We had a heavy involvement of um, the our patients and family and caregivers with separate sessions as well as combined sessions with them and involving the GVH Alliance, which was uh, headed up by the Meredith Cowden Foundation based in Cleveland. Um, the integration we had in discussion all the way from the youngest patients um, with a, a nine-year-old young man uh, speaking uh, as well as up into the uh, caregivers and the oldest patients and their, their struggles with dealing with chronic graft versus host disease and what they hope that we can do in the future really increase the integration of, of the entire spectrum where we need to understand patients' needs uh, and uh, and um, also get uh, the uh, guide, the, th the therapies and the research. Um, so that was, it was a, overall a really exciting meeting. Uh, we're excited to look forward to the next meeting, uh, which will be the eighth international Chronic GVHG Symposium, which will be held in uh, Zagreb, Croatia in May of 2026, uh, approximately 18 months from now. Uh, we hope to follow that in a one to one and a half years after that, uh, back in North America to continue to treat and uh, diagnose and be more intelligent in how we can help our patients and minimize or eliminate 
uh, chronic graft versus host disease.